Oh, good. Can we hear can us, hear you. Yeah, we can hear yeah. you and we can see hey. you. Good. How have you been getting on? What, just like generally? Yeah. Quite all right. I've been doing a bit of homework because I've still got my schoolwork sent to us. Have you been, been to any shops? My first big shop was only two weeks ago and it was the pound shop in Liddles. <laughs> so when I went to the shop, it's like I've been in a shop. It's been two months since I've been in the shop. All my days are blending in together. I have to ask my mum every day what, what date is, what date. And I've had to ask that a couple of times what month we're into. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know what's happening. Have we got a uh, sound? I don't know. Yes, we have. First few days of lockdown were quite boring. Tell me what you've liked about lockdown and what you've not liked. I've liked how much free time I've had, but I've, I miss my friends. I don't like how... When we're out and about, we have to be so careful. Like, it's just weird to do it. Like, you know, you never had to think of social distancing before now. Liam, have you been able to, to get out and see anybody? Or have you well, just been in the house and garden? I've seen my nana. I've done some jobs. Went to the shops a bit. Had a bit of walking around. Not much. I haven't been able to see my uh, brother, brother and sisters. Just basic stuff like that. Getting some shopping for the, uh, for, for the elders. So what was it like going to the shops for you? Well, for me, going to the shops, you have to go by yourself. Now it's different. You have to stay two metres apart, which is, it feels like everyone's got a disease, even though, even though, you, even though you, you don't have it. But we're, we're lucky at the end of the day that we don't have a disease. What I miss is actually being back at work. It's had Mr. Banner. So you, you've, just, you've just nipped off to get an ice cream. Yeah, we get ice cream at least once a week. And today was today, so, and I heard it. So I just thought, I've got to go and grab an ice cream before it leaves. That's uh, my highlight of the week, every time an ice cream man comes. What do you miss? Going to school. I really miss school. What do like, you miss about just, school? Like, the structure of it. Like, you know what I mean? Getting up, going to school, but, like, having breakfast, going to school, seeing my friends. Now I just, like, I don't have any kind of routine. You know what I mean? I just want to be back on a normal structure. Anybody got any suggestions for what this person that we're going to make a story up about could be called? Um, oh, I haven't a boy or a girl. What, yeah. what do you want? Well, Charlie, it's gender neutral. It doesn't matter. What was that? Alex? Charlie. Charlie. Heather? It's a gender neutral um, name, so it doesn't really matter. Alex. Oh, yeah, Alex. that works as well. Is it going to be? Genderless a child. A genderless great. Okay, Peter, that's a great start. Once upon a time, there was right. a lonely redheaded girl. And every day, she would go out looking for friends. Till one day, she found a chimp. And because of that, she learned sign language. Red-headed girl realised there was more to life than just humans to be friends with. Until finally... She was no longer lonely. And ever since then... She made friends with all the animals. I can see, um... Green fence, I can see bushes, I can also see trees in the air background as well, behind the air fence. I can see a lot of um, a lot of light in the back. It's quite nice, quite peaceful. Outside in my window I can see rows of houses and everyone's backyard with bushes and hanging up the washing. Uh, there's a nice big tree next to the back of college as well. Just lots of buildings, a bit of greenery here and there, a few people coming up and down the street. Not much, not much. What's the sky doing? Just vibing. The sky's doing what the sky wants to do. Did you, did you say just, just vibing? The sky's just vibing, just doing what it wants to do. The sky's just being this guy. Beautiful, beautiful. What would I like to say out the window? Many things. First thing that just pops it in my head, just Go for it. oranges. 
That's just, just popped into my head. Oranges floating around. <laughs> just some weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I would like to see is, is peace, green fields, blue water, the sun shining. I'd love to just see some wild Pokemon just running out and about. Like if okay. Pokemon are real, I'd love to see them just running around. What would their background be? You've got pretty much just Pokemon just becoming real and running around enjoying life. Where are they? What is, what is the scenery? A barren street with some of the bird Pokemon around and a few rarer ones zooming around. I quite like waterfalls. There's um, a place in there, there's a game I play called um, Red Dead Redemption 2 and there's a, a place in it that's, that's like just really beautiful. They're quite like ones where they've got a forest around them and there's like animals drinking from the water that's like pooled below. There's just something really serene about it. So it's, yeah, it's that. That's a better picture of it. Yeah, that's much better because you can actually see the pool and stuff like that. It's around here, so like you go up here and you go around and you can, the, I think there's a ledge around here as well. I don't know if you can see my mouse. All right, yeah, so like it's there and there, there's two ledges. Well, if circumstances don't change, then the world's gonna be stuck like this. Like what I see out the window right now might be what might stay for the rest of the rest of time. Well, since all the pandemic's going around, and uh, Donald Trump's on the throne. The possibility of a nuclear war, which is pretty bad. Probably everyone's going to be wiped out. But on the good side, I could probably see like flying cars, futuristic robots and stuff like that. Hopefully the nuclear war won't uh, happen, which is good. Because once when that goes, then there goes the world. What would be a really useful invention? Some kind of machine that would be able to scan uh, viruses so that would be, like, be able to figure out nearly instantly like what we should do about them if this happened. It would um, compare it to similar viruses that we've already basically defeated and would, um, it would try and give us the best solution we could do. Uh, for a good future, I think, I know this sounds good, but like solar panels and like renewable energy everywhere like there's a big field out the back that's doing nothing and a lot of people already have solar panels around my area so i think if everyone did and then just seeing the more greenery of the side of things looking out the window would be quite nice in a good future i think it would like just be just like this except without the coronavirus <laughs> <laughs>